Let's talk about Brock Purdy. Who should be the MVP favorite right now in the NFL? And if it's not him, it should be Christian McCaffrey. But Brock Purdy has to be one of the most hated players in the NFL. I don't understand this. Brock Purdy is out here leading the league in passing touchdowns with 29 on the season with just seven interceptions, one of the lowest touchdown to interception ratios in the NFL. He's number one in QBR with a 76 QBR, and he's second in passing yards with 3,795 passing yards. And the first thing that a lot of naysayers would say is this. He's on the loaded football team. He's playing with Trent Williams. He's playing with Christian McCaffrey, the best running back in football. He's playing with Debo Samuel. He's playing, playing with Brandon Ayuk. When did we ever, when did we ever criticize a quarterback for being on a good team and nitpick every single thing about that player. If Brock Purdy goes out there and he misses one throw, people will say, see, this is why he's not elite. But his numbers back up that he is elite. Is he on a stacked football team? Yes. But we have also seen other quarterbacks play in the Kyle Shanahan system on a similar stacked football team in Jimmy Garoppolo and also with Brian Hoyer as well. And they have never looked this good. They did make a Super Bowl appearance with Jimmy Garoppolo, but Jimmy Garoppolo is not even in the same category with Brock Purdy. This is just Brock Purdy's second year and this is his first year starting. He is going to go down as one of the best quarterbacks that Kyle Shanahan has ever coached if he keeps this up. The kid is phenomenal. Yes, he had a bad three-game stint this season when Trent Williams Williams went out and Christian McCaffrey was dealing with an injury in the Cleveland Browns game when Debo Samuel went out. But Christian McCaffrey also was not his former self in those three games either. So it was, wasn't was just Brock Purdy. And on the first half of the season, he had to go out and outscore teams because the defense was not the same. The defense did not start picking things up until Chase Young got traded to this team and to Steve Wilkes decided to step down from the booth and get a very good look at what was going on in the field and he adjusted his game plan. Yes, Brock Purdy is on a stacked team, but he makes a stacked team work. He's getting the most out of all of these players. Brandon Ayuk is a beast of a wide receiver, but no one was saying that Brandon Ayuk was a top 10 wide wide receiver until him and Brock Purdy got that connection very well. Look at what happened in the back half of last season. This is a kid that was a third string quarterback, came out of nowhere and took this team to the NFC Championship. And they would have beat the Philadelphia Eagles if he did not go down with that arm injury. Look at what they did against the Philadelphia Eagles this year. Teams have tried to stack the box against Brock Purdy and he goes out there and he passes for three to four touchdowns in a game. But let's just talk about this team with Jimmy Garoppolo. They averaged 27 points a game. Jimmy Garoppolo's passing rating was 99.2 and his completion percentage was 67.6. With Brock Purdy, they're averaging 32 points a game. His passing rating is 113.1. His completion percentage is 69% and he's 16 and 3. That's it. And the only three games he lost this season was because the team was not 100% healthy. And Kyle Shanahan also did not help him out at that time. Brock Purdy is the best quarterback in the NFL right now. I know people will say, what about Lamar Jackson? What about Patrick Mahomes? They're awesome. It's okay to speak of him in the light with those same quarterbacks. He may not have the longevity of those guys, but his numbers right now are better than Patrick Mahomes and is better than Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson has 17 passing touchdowns on the season. He has five rushing touchdowns, and he has a better offensive line rating than Brock Purdy. But guess what? Brock Purdy has more total touchdowns than Lamar Jackson. If you add up all of Lamar Jackson touchdowns this season, Brock Purdy still has more passing touchdowns than him. Then people will say, what about Tyreek Hill? He deserves to be an MVP. That's true. But who is throwing Tyreek Hill the football? Essentially, you have to give it to Tua Tung Valoa because he's spreading the ball around. Not only is just Tyreek Hill, he's also giving it to Jalen Waddle. You look at what Brock Purdy has been able to do with the San Francisco 49ers, it is phenomenal. The kid is playing so well that they had to basically go and get Trey Lance out of the building. They had to trade him to the Dallas Cowboys. Do you imagine how the national media would talk about this team? If Brock Purdy was not a good quarterback right now, they would say fire Kyle Shanahan and they will also say go out there and fire John Lynch as well because you traded a potential all-time great quarterback in this system that could have been in Trey Lance. That's how the media would have pushed it. The national media would have pushed that narrative for a guy that was the last pick in the NFL draft. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's why a lot of people don't like Brock Purdy, because he was the last pick in the NFL draft. And then you'll have a lot of naysayers come out and say, well, I don't dislike Brock Purdy. He's just not that good. He's overrated because of the team that he's on. That's a complete wash argument. But these are the same people that would go out there and praise guys like Lamar Jackson. 
if they just throw for 121 yards in the game. They'll say, well, he's making plays with his legs. Brock Purdy's also making plays with his legs as well. Not all of his passing touchdowns are inside the pocket. That's how I also know you're not watching and paying attention to the, to the game because a lot of the passes that he's had this season have been plays without structure. They have been plays when the box has been stacked and he's running around in goal line situations and he's throwing the ball across his body like how he did against the Jacksonville Jaguars to Brandon Ayuk in the middle of the red zone, like how he did against the Steelers in week one. The kid is a true franchise quarterback and he's a top five quarterback this season. It's okay to admit that. And right now you can disagree. But he is my league MVP. You can say how stacked the team is. That's fine. But it's similar to the Kurt Warner situation years ago when he won the MVP. This season, Brock Purdy is the best quarterback. It's not Patrick Mahomes. It's not Jalen Hurts. It's, Lo- it's not Lamar Jackson. And if you come in my comment section saying that Jalen Hurts deserves to be MVP, I'm just going to look at you sideways because he does it. Brock Purdy may not be the clear-cut answer because Christian McCaffrey is having a hell of a season right now. I'm not discrediting anything that Christian McCaffrey is doing. He's having a great season. But just a few years ago, he had over a 1,000 yards rushing and had over a 1,000 yards receiving. Yes, Brock Purdy could benefit from that. He is benefiting from an amazing run game and amazing targets on the outside. But we have seen other quarterbacks be with this team, and they have never looked this good. Brock Purdy is getting the San Francisco 49ers far, and right now this should be the Super Bowl favorite. That defense is playing off the chain for sure, but Brock Purdy is playing out of his mind, and he's playing at another level. And this is a year when offensive numbers are down because defenses across the board are just amazing at this point in time. But let me know in the comment section below, do you agree with me on this or am I tripping too much on Brock Purdy being the MVP? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.